Hey, it's Christopher with Simple Septic Secrets, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install risers on your septic tank all by yourself. It's pretty simple. Stick around, and I'll show you how. So first, you have to find the septic tank and dig it out. We dug up this one a little while ago, but it still has to be a little bigger. For this one, we're going to need to dig it out 30 inches. Now, you want to measure from the top of the septic tank to the bottom of the dirt where you want the lid to sit. Now, some people let the lid stick out a few inches, and other people want it buried. This customer wants it buried. So we're going to cut it just below the surface. Now since you're going to be putting it on yourself, you're likely not going to be cutting it from a large piece of corrugated pipe. You're probably going to order a pre-cut material from Amazon or the side of your choice. As I'm watching this, I'm not really sure why I didn't park the tool truck right where I was working. All right, so now we've got to make the hole a little bit bigger. And that's easier said than done because this dirt is hard as rock. Let me give it a shot. Oh yeah, that dirt is hard. So we both dug and dug and dug on each side of the hole, trying to make it a little bit wider. If I had my digging bar with me, I definitely would have used that and it would have sped things along. Now we want to make it so the riser is dug out enough where there's some room on both sides because we're going to use cement to stick it to the top of the septic. We'd already pumped the septic tank about two weeks before and the owner said, go ahead, put some risers on, we'll just leave it dug up. So we've got just about all of it. We're finishing up with a flat shovel. We're gonna test it, see if it fits. That looks like a good fit. And once we have it in there where we want, we're gonna go ahead and trim it up. You have to start it off flat. Yeah, and then uh, pull the trigger and then hold it there and then eventually it'll... Um, And then eventually it'll go in. Just keep just on holding it and like it is in the middle as much as possible. Keep it in the middle. Yeah, in between okay. these two. Okay. More centered. Yeah, more centered. There you go. Perfect. And then just set that piece in there. And you'll be able to see that it. Oh yeah, sure it does exist. We already tested it. But, um, yeah, that would sit in there, and then we'll get a little... She's going to go ahead and pop the top so the fun don't stop. It'll also help the water to rain down inside of there without building up inside of our hole. we got to get all that rinsed off nice and clean, totally spick and span, clean enough to eat off of, and then we can go ahead and put the concrete on. But first, I'm going to pop over here and pop this lid on real quick, then we're going to run back to the truck and cut a fresh slice of riser material and get started. I'm going to go ahead and cut this one for her. Again, when I'm watching this, I'm not sure why I didn't put the truck in the driveway. Anyways, pop that bad boy on there. It's looking pretty perfect. Now it's time for the concrete. Basically what we're going to do is take this concrete and put a little bit all around the edge of the, on the riser. And I screwed mine up. I accidentally dumped all the concrete at once, so I'm gonna have to dig that back out and fix it. Although she did a great job of putting a little bit of concrete around the edge evenly, and later we go ahead with our hand and we spread it out. If you're wondering why we're putting the concrete in dry, it's because we like to put the concrete around the edge dry and then just add a little bit of water and it'll it cure over time. There's no need to mix it all up. We're just trying to create a barrier between the dirt and the riser to keep the water out. Yeah, if you put a little around each side there and then we'll just add water. We're going to get the rest of that concrete in. Then we're going to put a little bit of water on there and then start putting the dirt back. Perfect. I'm trying to kick it back and get it uh, nice and even. Got it all fixed. We put the water around it. 
got to put the dirt back. One thing my dad taught me when I was younger is putting the dirt back is just as important as digging it out because if you just slam it all in, you'll mess up everything you just did. You could slam the riser to the side, you wouldn't be able to remove the lid. Well, that just about wraps it up. Gotta do a little bit of raking and make it look nice, but these risers are on there, they're watertight, and we're done. So if you want to keep your septic system lasting as long as possible, then you guys got to check out Carbon Tech. It's a new product I'm launching. It's a bio accelerator that takes the bacteria inside your septic system and it supercharges it, making it so it eats up all the paper and scum. It's not going to eat wet wipes. It's not going to eat tampons and all that other stuff. But that's why I put this guide together with over 20 pages that'll tell you how to get the most out of your septic system and what you can and can't flush so when you combine the two your septic system will last as long as possible i'll put a link down in the description and you can sign up all right see you guys on the next one